Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us for less than nine dollars a month information is available in the description below today's video i'm going to be looking at mmtlp and a new press release from Nextbridge hydrocarbons announcing uh, plans to expand we're also going to be looking at mma team materials which today was up uh, in excess of 30 percent at time of editing and also doing stock analysis on ticker symbol verri and this is stock that we are watching in the discord so stay tuned for that and we're also going to be finishing off by having a quick review of the week to watch list so um, before we get started let's have a look at what's happening in the market so first headline here from yahoo finance in terms of the u.s stock market u.s futures are rising as a new quarter kicks in so we're into the second quarter and uh, in terms of the first quarter i think it was a fairly mixed but overall the, the s p 500 is um has reached record high so we, we are seeing a positive start to 2024 and uh, in terms of uh, other market news, I, I know right now breaking news, oil is up uh, significantly, uh, I think uh, close to $84. And in other news, we can see that Asian markets currently trading higher and uh, gold has also hit an all time high and uh, US markets, um, I think uh, a little bit lower in the pre-market. But right now, good news for Google. We can see Google is also currently trading at all time highs. So great news there. I think Amazon is also very close to its all time highs. And um, if we also look at um, news in terms of uh, earnings, we know a uh, number of prominent stocks called earnings, including Sigma Lithium. We also have Levi's, BlackBerry, and uh, as well as that, a number of other prominent stocks, including Paycheck. Let's have a look at the post from Next Bridge Hydrocarbons. We can see here that they are announcing transactions. So what I posted in response to the press release was uh, they have stated here that they have purchased portions of four drilling wells from Wildcat SPV in exchange for 2.5 million shares of uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons common stock. And McCabe has also stated uh, while the Orogandra asset is still our primary focus, I have made the decision with the board, uh, with the full support of the board, to expand into what we deem to be world-class uh, exploration prospects. So uh, I think it's a good, positive, long-term uh, vision from uh, Greg there. And uh, if we have a look at the official press release here, dated 1st of April 2024, uh, again, confirmation that they've purchased four drilling uh, prospects. Uh, the, these include the Valentine, Panther, Cowboy and Packer prospects, all located in southern Louisiana and uh, an another note here Greg has uh, retained varying overriding royalty and working assets and he has also agreed uh, to forego the 25% working interest after payout he had previously uh, while retaining his overriding royalty assets. So it certainly looks like Greg is making some significant compromises there for the benefit of the company, which is positive. And it, uh, in the second part here, we can, we can also see that they have sold ownership in both the Valentine and Panther prospects uh, to an undisclosed party. So um, we're not sure who this uh, party is, uh, but certainly, it, hopefully it's somebody significant. And uh, for that, they're receiving net revenue of just in excess of one point zero nine million dollars so uh, additionally next bridge will receive 245,000 spud fee on top of uh, the first well uh, for valentine and eighty thousand dollars spud fee on the panther while retaining a uh, proportion proportionate share associated deep rights below nineteen thousand five hundred in the valentine prospect so certainly looking after uh, their uh, potential for the long term there in these wells and next bridge has also retained the option but not obligation to participate in work various working interests in the drilling of the two prospects uh, so i think overall what i, what I can see here is uh, greg is making sure that there is sufficient capital there to keep things going uh, which is obviously what the company needs and they also state say they've entered into a letter of intent to sell uh, its retained right to participate in the working interest at least in the valentine prospects and finally uh, a statement i already stated uh, obviously the pro uh, priority is the Oregande asset that's still the primary focus that's where i think the significant oil and gas assets are but he's made the decision with a full board support to expand so that is uh, certainly 
good news there so overall i think it's a positive press release um, and it's something that is uh, highlighting the fact that, the, that he is working in the background he is doing his best and obviously we can also see uh, that he is obviously making a personal sacrifice uh, for the company and the generating cash so hopefully more positive news to come Let's now have a look at a response to yesterday's video where we looked at the connections between Ari Rubenstein, GTS Securities, FINRA and MMTLP and the creation of the ticker as well. So uh, what David has stated here is we know that Ari, we know all about Ari, but do you know about David Lieberman and Amit Livna? Do you know that David was investigated with Ari Rubenstein? Why did Ari get removed from Kirkland Law's search results and David did not? So that's certainly interesting. So that's the company there in, in question. And it does state there that David Lieberman, Lieberman is a subject of a New York Stock Exchange investigation. So it certainly seems like um, uh, they may be partners in this alleged crime and uh, in other significant news I think uh, something to keep an eye on today uh, from Don Fizz here is set up a reminder for his upcoming space and he's going to hopefully provide us with uh, some important updates on Congress it looks like this could be an important space he has got a number of prominent people they're hopefully lined up uh, to speak as well uh, and then uh, in other news for meta materials we added this to our daily stock alerts today as well as an, a number of other stocks uh, it potentially could be rumored driving the stock up i know it was at one time up in excess of 30 percent and what meta news have posted is that meta materials is up uh, approximately 100 percent in the last six trading days so is something going on Finally, I'd like to finish off by having a look at tick symbol VERI. This is a stock that has been exclusively shared in the Discord, also known as Veritone Incorporated. So let's start by having a look at um, uh, a profile of the company. And we can see here that they, are, they are, are about inspiring the future in everyone through the power of AI. And Veritone is home to a, a team of professional and passionate creators who want to help create a better world, one that is safe, dynamic, transparent, and innovative and they are also looking to invest in unrealized potential of ai to unlock the future that once existed only in dreams so certainly in the right area that is uh, going through a very positive phase right now but let's for, before we look at some news and developments in in terms of the company let's have a look at the chart here for the previous month and uh, the good news here is uh, it's in a strong bullish phase it's up uh, in excess of 121 percent over the previous month right now at time of editing it's just up, up in excess of 4.3 percent at five dollars and 49 but we know just a few days ago it was trading uh, in excess of six dollars and sixty so um, certainly one to keep an eye on so let's have a look at the news and we can see here in the press release uh, the company have uh, launched an ask very to empower customers to talk to their data for actionable insights and workflow activation so this is positive news and this is something they are calling new generation generation generative ai media intelligence and national language tool that enables democratization of data exploration and activation to provide value from content investments so very very promising here and they are obviously describing themselves as a leader in designing human-centered ai tech solutions and they are also saying that they will be available across the majority of veritones commercial and public sector applications so um, in uh, further information about this press release we can see here the company is saying that they are leveraging generative ai to swiftly respond to queries and, com and provide customers with in-depth analysis insightful summaries and key findings for their digital media collection so for example with ask verify ask very they can say customers can formulate their own questions such as what is the trend of monthly user acts activity and then obviously the the answer there as an example would be provided and finally we can see here the company are streamlining the overall content experience for dmh customers including tv network studios production companies and film and studio uh, archivists and uh, they're also saying uh, that they are valuable data exploration and activation ally for media professionals enabling them to explore analyze comprehend their data, report data from effectively uh, and hopefully identifying patterns in media use and recognizing engagement trends amongst media buyers and uh, an important date for your diary here they're also going to be showcasing casing asbury during the 2024 nab show and this is going to be in las vegas and the dates for your diary april the 13th to april the 17th
I finally like to finish off by sharing a quick review of the previous week's weekly watches where we had some outstanding calls and the best call of the week was Tixamal FLGC. This was featured on the channel on a number of occasions. That was up over 88% on the previous five days. CGC, one of the cannabis stocks, as well as FLGC, that was up 83% on the week. Uh, IDN, that was also up 70% on the week as well. And in other positive calls, NN, also known as Net, 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 NextNav, was up 17.5% on the week. And TLR, why another stock that we've been following up 25.4 percent on the week so if you would like to get the next copy of our weekly watch list as well as our daily stock alerts details are in the description below thank you very much for watching please stay tuned